on guys it's sheep wolf nose and today i'm gonna be playing beam ng if you don't know what this is it's a physics simulator and basically all it is really is grand theft auto but with a lot more detail so what i'm gonna do is there's gonna be 10 different ratings i judge each color and i'm um today i'm just gonna be doing the normal spawn pickup that you get there's gonna be head-on collision side collision off-road ability top speed survival after falling off a cliff um, handling on a normal load, braking power, the sleekness of the outside, the sleekness of the inside, and top heavy. Each one will get um, 0 out of 10 points, whatever I feel is like, and it will get its final score. So first, we're going to start off with the head-on collision. So yes, I am starting, I'm, I am new at this editing, um, so forgive me for that. It's probably going to be a long video. Um, I may do it in two parts. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So, without any further ado, let's do the head-on collision. Each one for every car I do is going to be at 20 miles an hour. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the car going up to 20 miles an hour. And I'm going to put it in slow motion. And then I'm going to drive up so we can actually see it hit the wall. So now we're just going to watch the car. It's going at 20 miles an hour. It's just in slow motion right now. And it's going to slam into this wall. So I'm actually going to just... Ready? And at 22 approximately miles an hour. Boom. Head on collision. Okay. Let's assess the damage. So if we go into the inside of the car, we see... Oh, I can change it back to real time. We can see that there was a lot of frontal damage. I would definitely say this is survivable, but this um, seems like it would be, it would really hurt from the way it hit. It kind of just went and stopped. It didn't absorb any of the impact. So I'm gonna give the head-on rating collision a six. And I'm gonna pause the video and get ready for the side collision. Now you're probably wondering why do you have this car. This is the car that I'm going to slam in to this car right here at approximately 20 miles an hour like the last one. So we're going to start it. Maybe back it up a little bit so I have more room to accelerate. So this is going to be the car that I do every time. So we're going to get it going to 20 miles an hour. And then as we did last time, we're going to hurry so we can come and watch the side on collision to the car and we'll see how we think it would survive slammed in at 24 miles an hour oh is the car gonna flip this car's still going we're not gonna be investigating this car's frontal damage we're just gonna be doing this one so we actually ended up on top of the car so i can bring it back to real time now and let's go investigate oh there was another hit there i don't know why that happened and go investigate the damage. If we actually go into the car, um, we see, oh, we're in this car still. So, okay. So, it hit the car, it went up. I definitely say the passenger got whiplash pretty bad. But other than that, this car did a pretty well good job at absorbing the impact of this blue car so i'm going to give the side collision rating on this pickup truck a seven so next um the next test will be its off-road ability and i will get back to you as soon as i'm ready i'm back and we've gotten back in our pickup truck and we're gonna start and we're gonna try to take this car off-road and see how it handles so, without any further ado, let me try my horrible skills at driving off-road. Okay, and we're gonna start up, and we're just gonna drive off the road. <laughs> and see, no, it's got pretty good off-road abilities. I don't, it's not crashing at all. So far, it's looking good. The handling isn't the best. The back tires keep kinda swimming back. Hmm. So, I mean, it's off-road ability is good, but the handling is not so great. So I'm gonna average it out and give it probably a six as well. And the next test will be top speed, and I don't even have to cut the video for this one. I can just get back onto the road right here, and we can test its top speed. Yeah, nope, maybe not. Is the car 
car decided it wants to be annoying. Okay, so we're gonna see, we're just gonna drive straight ahead and see if we can get it to us, its top speed. I'm gonna, in fact, let it crash and see how long it takes to get to its top speed. That's gonna be the starting point. Looks like we're at 100. 150 and 120 was our final score there so 120 is pretty good it's about average i'm gonna give it a six because uh, average will be five so 100 no i got 120 100 is gonna be average i'll give it a six for 120 and the next test will be ability to survive after falling off a cliff Yes, this is definitely the most exciting one, and I will get back to you. Guys, we're on a cliff. It may not look too big because of the water, but trust me, it is going to do a big deal of damage. It's going to get to speeds up to 150 miles an hour. So we have a pickup truck, and we're just this is where I spawn, and we're just going to drive it straight off and see what happens, and then we'll see the ability to survive. Yep, you can kind of see how big the cliff is now. I want to start doing rollovers. Oh my goodness, oh poor car. Oh, is it gonna get stuck? Nope, it's gonna go all the way down. Okay. And then we're gonna go into first person and see if we think the person in there would've survived. This is either gonna be a zero score or it's gonna be a 10 score. So parts are falling all off the car and it looks like the driver has been crushed. So I do not see much hope for the pickup truck's score on driving off of a cliff. But let's see how it ends. Just doing rolls and rolls. And we're, right now we're going to hop into f um, first person. And yes, the person has just completely been crushed. There's no way anybody could have survived this. So I am going to give it a zero. And our next um, test will be its ability to handle on a normal road not off-road and i will get to you with that test guys we're back on a good map which is basically a normal road it has the same properties and we're just gonna try to do a few turns get really top speeds really top speeds we're gonna get try to get high speeds and see how it handles so i like that and it's doing the same thing it did on the off-road it's kind of going crazy it's losing control um for a road it shouldn't be doing that so I'm gonna give it the same score that I did for the off-road ability, which is a six. Our next test is gonna be braking power. I do not have to cut the video for this because we're gonna try to get, we're gonna just go to its, um, we're gonna go to 50 miles an hour, I believe, we thought about, and we're gonna see how long it takes to stop. Um, I have a, a friend here and he's gonna time how long it takes me from the time I press the brake button about to how long it I actually fully stop. So we're gonna accelerate, go ahead and accelerate to 50 miles an hour. And three, two, one, we're stopping. Full stop. And about how long was that, Judge? About 4.3 seconds he got. And so 4.3 seconds is pretty good for a big truck. I'm gonna give it an eight on its braking power. So now we're just gonna look at its sleekness, which I do not have to stop the video for. In fact, I don't even have to stop the video anymore looking at the list. So we're gonna just have a look around and kind of see how it looks on the outside. Um, it looks like a normal pickup truck and a lot of you don't know this, but my favorite car is the pickup truck. So that is definitely gonna affect my score. I like the rims, it has a turn signal, which I can turn on over here, which just turns the light on and it has a front turn signal as well. You can see it flashing there. So overall in its sleekness, I'm definitely going to give it a nine. Now we're gonna look at the interior. So we can just have a look around um, like this. Pretty cool, you have seats, you have a window roller, you have, um, speedometers you have a turn signal there you have heat you have a radio but i mean it kind of looks like clay so i'm gonna give it a seven on its interior and so now we're gonna see if it goes top heavy we're gonna get to about um 50 miles an hour and we're just gonna turn i'm not gonna do anything else i'm just gonna hold the button and see if it flips over and goes top heavy 
So 50 miles an hour to go top heavy test. Here we go. So we're going up to 30, 40, 50. I'm going to turn and I'm going to hold the accelerator and nothing. It did not go top heavy. So that is a definite 10 on this score. So now if I add all the scores, um, a six, six on head on collision, seven, so six plus seven, and then six on off-road ability, six on top speed, survival after falling off a cliff, zero, um, handling on a normal load, six, braking power, eight, um, sleekness on the outside, nine, interior on the inside, uh, this interior on the inside, sleekness on the interior, a seven, and top heavy 10 about what do we have um, I'm having my friend here do the math for me um, and he says uh, he got 65 as his final score and it is 65 out of a hundred possible points so this car is definitely average okay guys we did the rating on the car it's a 65 out of 100 not too good not too bad it's about an average let me know if you like these videos. Let me know if you hate them and want me to stop doing them. I enjoy doing them. I kind of like cars and physics. So, um, well, until we see you next time, have a good one.